Good afternoon everyone. I am Naveen Agarwal. I am Assistant Vice President at GSTM and I welcome you all to this webinar on e-invoice JSON download functionality. As you all are aware, recently GSTN has released a new e-invoice master FO portal. The web address is e-invoice.gst.gov.in. This e-invoice master FO portal hosts a lot of services related to e-invoicing. For example, search IRN, JSON download and all other things. As a part of our commitment to this portal, we have also released a new functionality called JSON download. This functionality allows taxpayer who is enabled for e-invoicing and also those who are not enabled for e-invoicing to download any e-invoice which they might have generated or which they might have received as a recipient. So uh, what I intend to do is that I will quickly take you up through how you can access this functionalities and how you can make best use of it. So let's get started to access this functionality. You need to visit eInvoice.gst.gov.in portal and you need to log in into this portal using, using your own same GST credentials. So this is the screenshot of the web portal. The web address is again I am repeating eInvoice.gst.gov.in and once you are there on the portal you will see an icon called download eInvoice JSONs. You need to click on this icon and then you will get a login window. In this login window, you need to put your same GST portal username and password. With this, you will be able to log in into this portal. Once you are able to log in into this portal, you will see this screen, which is right now is uh, being shown to you in this webinar. So any taxpayer has an option to search IRN or download IRN under three different kind of categories. You can download an IRN by clicking on buy IRN tab or you can download an IRN for a particular period or you can download the list of IRN. So now we will see how you can access all of these three functionalities. So for uh, to download the IRN by an IRN number, you need to provide an IRN number and or if you don't have an IRN number, you can provide uh, the financial year, document type and document number. With this also, the system will be able to search that IRN. If that IRN is available in the system and the IRN number is valid, you will be able to see that IRN number in the result and you will have the option to download the same as a PDF file. You will also have the option to download an e-invoice, same e-invoice in a JSON format also, if you want to use the same for your own ERP software. So this, this was the first method of downloading an any IRN. So once again, I repeat the time period for which this data is available at any given point of time, you can search an IRN and download it if its IRN is not older than six months. If it is older than six months, then JSON download functionality will not allow you to download that IRN from this portal. So second thing which way of doing this is that you can go to the for period tab in this period tab, you need to select the financial year again. You need to select the month or if you want the recipient GSTIN, you, if you want to enter that, you can uh, enter that and you need to select the type of supply. Okay. And once, so these two, last two fields are optional and then you need to hit download e-invoice JSON. Once you hit e -invoice, download e-invoice JSON, you will get all the JSON for that particular month. Since this will be a heavy download, uh, a link may be generated. System will say that system is is in the is processing this download request, and the same download will be available to in the download history section after some time. So you need to check back after 10, 20 seconds, and it will be available under the download history section. So this was the second method of downloading e invoice. In this method, we have focused on giving you a download for a particular month. The last method which we have is that you can download the IRN by having a list of IRNs. Suppose for that you need to select the financial year, month and the recipient GSTIN. In this case, you will get a list of all IRN for that particular month. And you can download this list of IRN in an Excel format. 
So I think the purpose of all this functionality is to serve the different different requirement. The first functionality serves the requirement where you want to find a single IRN. So you go to my by IRN search. The second functionality serves you to download the IRN month wise. And third functionality serves you or allows you to download the list of IRN for any particular given month. Once again, I repeat that in the beginning, as I have said, this functionality is available both for all the e-invoice which you have reported as a, as a supplier and all the e-invoice which you have received as a recipient. The same process applies in both these cases and you can see on the screen there are two tabs called generated and received. So all the e-invoice you have generated as a supplier are covered under the generated tab and all the e-invoice which you have received as a recipient are covered under the received tab. However, the process of navigating or downloading under both these categories are same. So this is how this functionality is. And uh, this was a very brief uh, uh, guide or a small video to help you out to better navigate and use this functionality. We have also create, created a detailed manual for e-invoice JSON download. And you can reach out to the link for this down manual by scanning this QR code, you will be taken up to the site or you can download the JSON e-invoice uh, e JSON download manual. So this was a very quick brief video on e-invoice JSON download functionality. And I wish to thank you all for joining on this webinar. If you have any questions or any queries, uh, you can put it in the chat box. Thank you once again. Thank you.